Magandang buhay po dear teachers, ito po si Sir Bass ng Sir Bass TV. Sa video tutorial series na ito ay ating aalamin ang mga iba't ibang mahalagang informasyon tungkol sa RPMS PTSD for school year 2021 to 2022. Ang mga informasyon pong ito ay bato sa DepEd Memorandum No. 004 Series of 2022 or Implementation of the Resource-Based Performance Management System Philippine Professional Standard for Teachers for School Year 2021 to 2022. Sa nakaraang video po ay ating napag-usapan ang mga iba't ibang MOVs for proficient teachers na kinabibilangan ng mga teachers 1 to 3. Sa video naman po ito ay ating naalamin ang mga general guidelines for the RPMS Alternative Classroom Observation for School Year 2021 to 2022. By the way, kung hindi pa po kayo nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, please do click the subscribe button para maging updated po kayo sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Pakilike and share na rin po ang video nito sa inyong mga co-teachers at baka makatulong sa kanila. Based po sa DepEd Memorandum No. 004 Series of 2022, meron po tayong tatlong alternative classroom observation options. Ito po ay ang online real-time teaching via online synchronous teaching or two-way radio instruction, observation of a video lesson or an audio lesson, and observation of a demonstration teaching via learning action cell. And meron din po tayong observation during limited face-to-face -face classes in low-risk areas. Based on the memorandum po, the alternative classroom observations for RPMS are considered only for school year 2021 to 2022 due to the absence of or limited capacity for face-to-face -face learning. The selection of alternative classroom observation should depend on the adopted learning delivery modality of the school. Moreover po, there should be two classroom observations for the entire school year. Hence, Rati should submit two classroom observation tool rating sheet or inter-observer agreement forms as MOV for their objectives that require such, such as objectives 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. The alternative classroom observation should follow this time frame. Classroom observation 1, between September 21 and February 2022 and classroom observation 2 between March 2022 and July 2022. Let us now discuss for the general guidelines in each alternative classroom observation. First, we have option 1 which is observation of real-time teaching via online synchronous learning or two-way radio instruction. For this one po, this applies to teachers who will adopt online synchronous learning or two-way radio instruction regardless of the number of classes and learners. Second, we have observation of a video lesson or an audio lesson. Consider this mode of observation when option 1 is not possible. This one po, this applies to teachers who will adopt online asynchronous learning or audio lesson in any of their classes or learners. A video lesson or audio lesson shall be used in lesson delivery as part of the supplementary materials or as one of the learning materials for online asynchronous learning or two-way radio instruction. It is not the same as the video lesson for TV-based instruction or audio lesson for radio-based instruction that the central office, regional office, or division office produces. A video lesson or audio lesson must be SLM-based or MELT-aligned. A teacher can use any recording device to record herself or himself while teaching a lesson. A video lesson or audio lesson can be stored in a cloud or any storage device or uploaded to an online classroom or a learning management system. Third po, we have observation of a demonstration teaching via learning action cell. Consider this mode of observation when options 1 and 2 are not possible. This applies to teachers who will adopt pure modular learning either in print or digital, 
radio-based instructions such as DepEd Radio and TV-based instructions such as DepEd TV. In DepEd's BELCT in the time of COVID-19, a support mechanism shall be established for teachers and school leaders to have access to relevant, on-demand technical and administrative advice and guidance which come in many forms, including professional learning communities through the Learning Action Cell. In support of this mechanism, the LAC policy states that the school LAC primarily functions as a professional learning community for teachers that will help them improve practice and learner achievement. And last one po ay observation during limited face-to-face -face classes in low-risk areas. This shall only apply to authorized public and private schools that are located in minimal or low-risk areas based on the criteria set by the Department of Health and pass the school safety assessment of Department of Education. Authorized public and private schools that are allowed to conduct limited face-to-face -face classes shall follow the usual classroom observation protocols subject to strict observance of COVID-19 health and safety precautions and prevailing community quarantine. At yun na nga po ang mga guidelines for the RTMS Alternative Classroom Observation for school year 2021-2022. By the way, kung hindi pa po kayo nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, please do click the subscribe button para maging updated po kayo sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Pakilike and share na rin po ang video nito sa inyong mga co-teachers at baka makatulong sa kanila.